The Ada Slim Show. Let's go. So you have an interesting <clears throat> background, you know, from what I read. You are a biologist. Yes. You studied biology, right? Studied biology, yes. And um, you also studied public health for I your master's degree. Yes, I did. You studied uh, business administration. Yes, That's I That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and then another interesting aspect of it is um, you studied at Oral Roberts University and um, how, um, what was that the one? George, how, Washington, George Washington, Washington University. University yeah. yeah. And these are really, really prestigious schools in uh, in U.S. So uh, how has it really changed you as a Nigerian? How has it changed me? I think... One of, the, one of the benefits I think that Nigerians that study abroad um, get is that when you travel, you get to see how the world works. You get to see a different side of things. Yeah. I think that benefits us because someone like you who also studied in the U.S., um, you get to see a different part of the world. And you see how things work, how things come together, how things fit. When those happen, you come back here and you see how we miss a few things here and there. Yeah. It helps you kind of recalibrate your mind to say, let me use that background to see how I can change and make things better here. Yeah. That's what my whole life is about, is how, how can I make things better? If, anyone, if you ask anyone what my vision for Nigeria is, it's just two words, change Nigeria. Um, in, that, in that phrase right there, you can do so many things. We can make this place better. We can make it different. Yeah. Um, every time you see Nigeria on the news, it's always about some 419 person, someone did this, some, some mm. prince is trying to get you to take money from them. But we can begin to change the image of Nigeria if we start to yeah. deliberately do these things so that when people see us on the news, it should be about how we are solving problems, we are we're, exactly. we're, we're eradicating malaria, we're, we're doing mm. things to make this place better. I think that is how we can really begin to think about our nation. If yeah. we get our mindset from it so bad to, it's not the best, but we can work and make it better, things will change. Sure. I wanted to ask you how much you are applying your biology background and then the public health, but that was before you just told me that you were part of the setting up of the children's hospital. And then in terms of the business aspect of you, I can see how much you are applying in, <laughs> you know, being the president of the <clears throat> university. So. I, I think, well, I think that, that is also an interesting story. For, for me, it was that um, I, I, started, I started studying biology because I wanted to go to medical school. Okay. So my whole life, I wanted to be a doctor. Mm. And um, I, I went to med I, so I went to university, mm. studied biology. Then I got a master's in public health. And I thought that would also help me, too, when I come back to Nigeria, yeah. think about the health aspect. That was what I wanted to do. Mm. Um, but while I was doing my, my first degree, I also thought I took one class as an elective in business, and mm. I think the business bug really bit me there. And I, and I loved that too, so I got a degree in business also too. Yeah. So I did that, went, went, to, um, went to get my master's, then I went to medical school mm. in the UK. Okay. I was in my third year almost when my mm. father passed away. Mm. And so with his passing okay. away, I, so I took a year off of medical school, come back to Nigeria. Mm. My thought was, what I thought was, let me come back to Nigeria for a year, help stabilize things and then go back to go back to finish medicine. Mm. But when I got here, I, I saw the, the work that, that, that had to be done, so many things that I so needed to things. really get involved in. And I think that's when God spoke to me that this is where I belong, it's where I need to stay. Mm. So I started working at, at, the, at the university. And from there, I called the medical school and said, look, I'm not, I won't be coming back. I'm going to go fully into this. Mm. After three so years. I have never turned, never turned my, never looked back. I mean, mm. I've enjoyed it. You're still in the medical, you know, still being part of the field. hospital and being a <laughs> biologist and all That's that. True. The Adaslin Show. Let's go.